Is getting proper sleep and being consistent with practice all you need to learn a wheelie? Research seems to suggest that each time you attempt to learn a new motor skill and you curl up in bed at night, your mind replays that learning process over and over, sharpening your neural circuits. To put this simply, when we first learn a new skill, many muscles and many neural links in the brain become engaged that aren't necessary because we are unsure of what is exactly needed for this new skill. But with each new day and each new sleep, your brain strengthens these neural links that associate with the new skill and also weakens the ones that aren't necessary for it. How cool is that? It's like a level up each night if you take time to practice that day. In this video, I'll be putting this to the test by limiting myself to just two hours this week to learn how to wheelie for 100 feet. Now I wanna preface really quick that I know how to lift the front wheel. I just can't consistently hold it up for more than 20 feet. So we'll start off small. Okay, so that is right around five feet. Uh, I guess start the timer now and let's see if we can get to 100 feet by the end of the week. Here we go. Okay, let's try for 15. Yeah! <laughs> There's 15 already. <laughs> I don't even think it's been more than five minutes. All right, let's go for 20. That is 20. I'm afraid to make it any wider because all of those were not controlled at all. Uh, that took a while to get. Um, I guess I gotta go to 25. Let's put it to 25. Okay, that is 25 feet. I don't have much faith in doing this one. I did it, but it's just not controlled. I want this to be more controlled because there's no way, that's a quarter of what I really need to do. With day one in the books, I went off to sleep and the next morning we got back out there and started again. And I was very surprised with what happened on my first try. Whew. Okay, day two. Yeah! Okay, that's 30. Yeah. Come on. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I just did 40 feet. Son of a. I missed it. The camera was off. Come on. Come on. Ah. Woo! That's 40 feet. Let's shoot for 50. Yeah, that is 50 feet. That's halfway on day two. That's so exciting. Woo. After another night of sleep, I woke up on day three and cleared the 75 foot mark within 15 minutes. I was amazed. Yeah! Day three, 75 feet. If I kept going, I could probably get to 100, but we we're gonna call it a day and I'll see you on day four. Maybe we'll get this done in four days. That would be crazy. On day four, the plan was to just go for it right off the bat. Today, day four, shooting for 100 feet. Let's do it.
but for the next 30 minutes, this is all that happened. I don't think that was it. I'm not I sure. I think, no, I can't count that. There it is. Oh, no! Oh, my God. I got it! <laughs> I don't think I got it! <laughs> I'm done for a bit. This is exhausting. I was really having a problem with brake modulation around the 90 to 99 foot mark. So I called it on day four with only 20 minutes left to get to my 100 foot mark if I wanted to make it under my goal of two hours. Needless to say, there was a lot of pressure on day five. I got this. I got this. No time to worry. Come on. Oh, wait the future. Oh, oh no. This time tomorrow. Ah. Here, here. Ah. I'll see the memory. No. Here we go. I wanna wake up with Come on, keep it straight. Keep it up, keep it up. No. Come on, man. Come on. Keep it up. Yeah! I think I just got it. Please. Okay. Slow mo. Did I get it? Come on. Come on. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, I don't think I got it. No. That is so frustrating. I've got a little bit of time left to make it under two hours. And. Oh. It, I was like an, a few inches off. It's crazy. <sighs> okay, let me see. I got about five to eight minutes to see if I can get this all the way through. <sighs> Had to change the battery on this guy. We got about maybe four minutes, maybe three minutes. I don't know. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm frustrated. But I gotta get it, I gotta get it. I wish I would've had this sense of urgency on the first few days. Come on, keep that up. Come on. No! No! Come on, keep it up, keep it up. You ain't letting that down. You ain't letting that down, yeah! You ain't letting that down. Oh, I think that's two hours. I think that might be right on the money with two hours. Oh my God. I am dog tired. I'm dog tired. We did it, buddy. We did it. Five days ago, I could barely wheelie 20 feet and under two hours of practice, I was able to wheelie 100. This simply blows my mind. I am officially a full on believer in small practice sessions and good sleep. What skills should I learn next? I want to keep this up because the better rider I am, the better builds we can do each week. So I'm kind of thinking manuals are the next logical step. Let me know in the comments what you think I should try. And until then, I will see you all at the next build.